Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, so this is another episode of Devotional Tuesdays <laughs> um, for teens, um, for, teen, for teenage girls. Uh, I don't know what episode I'm on, but I just know I'm on, <laughs> on an episode. I think it's five, it maybe four, it maybe six. I'm not really quite sure. But either way, welcome back. <laughs> So today's topic is going to be, we're going to be talking about toward what Jesus wants and the memory verse for today is um, 2 Corinthians 6, 14 to 16 which says Do not be yoked together with unbelievers. What fellowship can light have with darkness? What does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? For we are the temple of the living God. Yeah, so um, I suppose this topic is this topic is centered around who you hang around with and who you choose to have in your circle, especially your your very close um your very, who you ha who you choose to have in your really close circle. So those those friends that you really gel with, those friends that you you know you spend a lot of time with, um. Even in a in a dating relationship, you know, you're with that person quite a lot of the times. Probably more times you're with that person, um, than you are with your best friends and your other friends and even your family. So you really need to be careful of who you have around you. Um, you know, there's this there's this um phrase that I used to hear a lot, which is flirts to converts. You know, um, because I suppose believers have this um, misconception that oh you know you can i can change them you know um they just need a little more time or um you know yeah i, I can i can just change them they just need a little more time and they will come to know christ you know i can do it i can do it but they've got to realize that nobody no mortal and you know no okay no human can change anybody we can't change anybody it's not it's not in our control to change anybody i mean we can influence them but we can't change them they can only change themselves it's their own choice it's you know we don't have that choice for them we can't make that choice for them and um, so when you know especially when it comes to going out with somebody we need to be careful of who we go out with you know when the bible says not be unequally yoked we need to make sure that um we need to make sure that we are not going out with people who don't have that faith with us. Um, and I know it, it. I suppose you can say that Bible verse is more so for when you actually get married. But you know, but that's what dating is that is there for is to know who you're going to eventually marry. To, uh, th this world just has this this um idea of dating for fun. You know, dating without a purpose, and it can really be hurtful. Especially, I mean. For me, anyway, I don't see the point in dating somebody if I'm not, if I don't have that idea of going out with, um, of um, marrying them later on, um, or the possibility, not not necessarily that the person I'm going to date is the person I'm going to marry, but the possibility that we might mar we might end up marrying each other. I don't, I don't see the point in investing so much time so much effort even money because <laughs> dating is expensive um you know inv investing so much in that other person and then you guys aren't going to go to the next level you guys aren't actually going to you know marry or you guys aren't you're going to go to the next stage in life together and you know sometimes obviously the person that you start dating you think oh you know this person might be the one um sometimes doesn't end up being the one but that's a different situation entirely um but yes so the the problem with being around people who are you know who don't have that same faith in, as you do is that you know they start to corrupt you and um, in the bible it does say that you know bad bad company corrupts good manners so it basically means the people who are around who don't have that faith in you and like you do um in god can really start to influence the way you think and the way you act or um just the way you act and think in general and no matter how good you may be if you're around those type of types of people you can really start to notice you you know starting to change the way you used to be and you start to realize that okay hang on a minute this is not the way i used to think this is not the way i used to talk it's not the way i used to act even 
the good people that you hang around with you know the people who are in christ you know you start to you start to see that you know you start to do what the, some things that they do or say some things that they say um and may not necessarily be a negative way but you know you start to do some things that they do that you know that they do so you, you know we just gotta be careful and i'm saying this it's not always easy um especially when you're in school and things like that i know when i was in school and um, when i was in secondary school and all the way up to a levels um i found it really difficult because i didn't have anybody who had that same faith as me um in my school i you know on top of that i was the only um black girl in my year so it was really hard for me to really find somebody but you know you just got to be careful who you who you spend a lot of your time with so i'm not saying that those friends that you really gel with those friends that don't have that faith in god that you should completely cut them off altogether don't do that um but don't at the same time don't spend so much time with them to the point where they start to affect you in a way that you know starts to draw you away from god starts to make you think in a way that you shouldn't be thinking as a child of god but yes so that's basically um the message for um today's devotional and i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it really did help you i hope it um, started to make you think so i just hope you guys you know throughout the rest of the week you you start to you know think about the friends that you have around you start to see which ones you need to you know not necessarily cut off but you know keep at a distance um just so that you can especially when you're just new to the faith you know you can be easily swayed by a lot of things and it's as the same with everybody who starts um in the faith with god but as you as you go on you know you get stronger um and i'm speaking from experience everything i say i always speak it from experience or from experience that someone that i've seen someone close to me go through so yeah thank you for listening i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to um check out my other videos um and the other videos from my devotional tuesdays and also hit that um hit my face and subscribe thank you guys for listening bye